Now more than ever, I think you have to own gold just because of the, the valuations in the markets between the bond market and the equity market and the valuation in the gold market. Gold markets are still way, way off their, their all-time highs. They're not even close to that valuation yet, so, so there's room to grow. And the equity markets and bond markets are banging off the highs. Now, can they go higher? Certainly. But the, but the insurance factor that say, okay, you know, buy low, sell high, mm -hmm. you're buying low here still. And I think it's important when you say buy gold, what you mean is something that I and my family really believe in, which is buy bullion. <clears throat> I, yes, I, I believe in buying physical gold, buying, buying gold miners, buying um, ETS, buying, that's, that's a nice trade, that's things to do, but if you want the safety of gold, you have to buy the physical bullion. And that's, when we talk about that, we go to you, it doesn't necessarily mean that it necessarily has to be in a U.S. bank. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that, that uh, I would keep my gold bullion out of banks, I would store it somewhere else outside of a bank. and. Uh, maybe outside of this country, or maybe diversify this country and other countries. But not in the ground behind your back. Not in the ground behind no, your back. I point that out because I had someone who actually did it. You know, an old friendly friend who did it. Wise, wise person. And they found it. They found it in the back. <laughs> you know, always say, I don't trust the banks. I don't trust the banks. The guy was like, you know, rooting around, and he found the darn stuff. All right.